Coming up this week, then, we've got the Easter Scotland qualifying cup starting on Tuesday. Uh, Gallifrey and Rovers are playing Ross Scythe in the first round. Spartans playing Linlithgow Rose in the second round. Uh, then on to Wednesday, you've got Lothian and Thistle, Hutchinson Vale versus Hillabeath Hawthorns. And in the second round, you've got Hillfield Swifts versus Edinburgh Uni. And Genefield Swifts versus Vale Leaven. Uh, and Swifts then- everywhere. Swifts, Swifts, all, all, all the Swifts, <laughs> got all the Swifts, not even, no Taylor Swift, but. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were going to go Stevie Swift rather than Taylor Swift there, but man of taste. <laughs> all, the, all the Swifts, I mean, every Swift. Nothing against uh, you, Gaffer, if you listen. He still calls him Gaffer, how cute is that? Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Gaffer, he's done the, done the off-ice there, he still calls him Gaffer, I love it. Uh, moving on to the SPFL Trust Trophy, Tuesday night you have Peace Park versus Boyne Rig Rose. Wednesday, you've got Broom Hill versus Clyde, Celtic B versus Anathetic, Dumbarton versus Rangers B, and Falkirk versus East School Pride. Um, and this is the SPFL Trust Trophy. They'll be interesting matches, I'm sure, boys. Um, kind of like the EK coming up against a, a team like Falkirk, for example, of Broom Hill playing, playing Clyde. It'll be, it'll be good to see how they how they, how they they fare. The, the one for me was uh, Annan Athletic versus uh, Celtic B, because I actually think. Uh, people are underrating Annan uh, this season, so I'll be interested to see if they can if they can get a result against Celtic B. Uh, uh, Rangers and Celtic, I think I've mentioned, they they have pulled off results certainly in preseason against uh, the SPFL side. So, but I, I actually do think people have under underrated Annan this season in League Two. So that that will be an uh, an interesting one for me. But historically, I don't think uh, the lone league teams um, do that well in this trophy, apart from maybe Kelly Hearts a couple of seasons ago. So. Um, East Cobb Bride are probably not even going to be taking much interest, I would imagine. And you know, if if they can maybe get a result against Falkirk, it'd be great for them. But I, I reckon their priority has to switch to the league probably immediately. And this is probably more of a distraction than anything else. That's generally what happens with this cup, as Chris says. I mean, we've never really given it a proper fist there. It's generally a lot of young players that have played back in their BSC days. So I suspect we'll probably give Clyde. A bit more respect. It's Gormley's old team, after all. So, um, Gorms will be desperate to put a good show in and maybe even pull a wee shock off there. But we are where we are. I don't think in any given day that we'll be expected to get anything at that game. Be happy to give them a right good kind of contest, and we'll see where that goes. Um, unfortunately, as is the way with the SPFL, they've told us we can't live stream the game, which again is just nonsense. Absolute nonsense, but I'm not going to go on a big rant about it. <laughs> it. Can be a um, podcast all on its own, was it? It could, it could. Just the out of touchness of people in this country that run things, it's just frustrating as hell. But I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be something a bit different for us and probably a welcome distraction for the last few games we've had. Absolutely. Okay, and then looking ahead to the weekend in the Lowland League, we'll start off with Bonnie Rig Rose versus Edinburgh Uni. Looks like it'd be a, a win for Bonnie Rig, we'd think. I'd imagine so. Um, I think it'll be tight though. You are a better side than they've been. So, and I don't think Rose are a team that are going to go and score five or six. I just don't see that in them. But maybe one two now. Um, as I say, I wasn't really overly impressed with Rose, but certainly I think they they're, they're a better team than Edinburgh Uni, and especially at New Dundas Park with the fans behind them. I think they'll they'll win that fairly comfortably. Okay, the next game then they'll be Star versus Spartans. This is going to be, a, I think, a close game for me. I think I'm going to go draw here, please. I was going to sit in the fence as well because back at Islecroft, I'm still not convinced Spartans are like it's hard for me to put my my neck in line for any team in this league right now, just with the way things are and results are all over the shop. Um, I'll take the easy way out and I'll say a draw. <laughs> I uh, I think they'll be they will bounce back and certainly hope they do. But this was the game before the Berwick game that I thought this is probably their biggest challenge so far, uh, and I'm going to go with Spartans due to that. Okay, next game then East Kilbride versus Bowness. We obviously talked about that. It'll be a catch up game of the week. I'm going to go and say that uh, East EK will bounce back and get a result. Yeah. I'm going to say Bowness are going to bounce back and get a result. Okay, bounce back ability all round then. Uh, <laughs> You know, I, you know, I copied and pasted these fixtures for the, you know, the write up and stuff, and I, I that for, for whatever reason I must have missed that because I have no idea who's going to to get the result there. 
I think East Colbride have to get the result, uh, especially at home. But then again, I look at Bonus and think <sighs> Bonus to me at the start of the season, I think they were going for it. Uh, I think they're still going for it, but I think they are a wee bit less ambitious than than maybe a an East Colbride. So it's probably more important for East Colbride to to, to get it than Bonus, and and they are at home, but. It wouldn't shock me either way, uh, but I, I will go with Scott Bride on it. If either side lose that, the pressure starts to build on the gaffer, which is the interesting side. I think see how that plays out. All right, next then is East Stonshire versus Civil Service Strollers. This is a quite a close one, I think, for me. I'm going to just go, just edge it with Civil. I think it'll just it'll be a close one, but Civil, I'll get the points. I'm going to go for a draw. I think Shire are still pretty comfortable at home. Um, Civil. It's it's hard to to kind of put too too much too many eggs in all the same basket with several. You just I don't know. I'm I'm not fully convinced by them yet. Is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to go for a draw. Several are very hard to break down, and the way they play. Um, historically, these games between East Lancashire and Civil are usually all thrillers. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go with a high scoring win for East Lancashire. Next one, then Galafredi Rovers versus Cali Braves. I think maybe a draw here. I'm going to go for a Gala win. Um, they tend to be a bit stronger at home, Netherdale. Braves haven't always been the best on their travels. They are a better side, though. I'm still going to go for the home team. I'll go draw. Maybe I like a 2 2 or something like that. I do believe Cali Braves can play um, better than they did against Bonnie Rig, but. Gal aren't as good as Bonnie Rig, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, 2 2, I think 2 we'll, 2 we'll draw will be fair. Uh, next one then, Rangers B versus Gretna. I think we're all going to say the same here. I think Rangers B will get the result. Home win. Easy as that. Then, University of Stirling versus Berwick Rangers. I think this could be a draw. Yeah, I'm going to go home win again. Just then, yeah. coming off such a good result and performance against Colts, Berwick having to travel up to Stirling. Yeah, I'm going to go home team. Quite a difficult week uh, for fixtures, actually. Yeah. But this one, um, for me, is Sterling Uni. Uh, and it's down to the fact that Sterling Uni can outscore Berwick. Berwick uh, don't tend to score you know, 3-4. Uh, obviously, Sterling Uni coming off a game where they scored 6. So um, I think Sterling Uni can outscore them. Okay, final one then is Vale Leaven versus Celtic B. I mean, this could potentially be a high-scoring victory for, for Celtic B. It depends what the park's like. Can be quite a heavy park down in early when there's been a lot of rain, and there's been a lot of rain. Um, may bog down Celtic slightly, given it's a, a kind of young group. But yeah, you've got to go away win, don't you? The way we're looking at it, it's going to be another uh, three points for each of the Colts sides, which yeah. uh, which is crazy to think. So they're they're going to be even further up the table um, if if it obviously goes like that. But yeah, it's certainly I think Rangers and Celtic can be will will win this week. And that then concludes the matches in the, the weekend games in the Lone League. We have another one uh, match that involves the artist formerly known as BSC, <laughs> Broomhill, uh, against Dunny Pace in the South Challenge Cup final. A chance to win some silverware from Broomhill, was it? A chance to get in the DeLorean, go back two seasons and win a cup final. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, just because it's such, it's such a ridiculous situation <laughs> that we're playing a, a cup two seasons ago. But it's a game that I don't think anyone would have predicted. Like, Dunny Pace, to get to the final, have done phenomenally. Um, obviously, we're a very different team to the team that got to the final. It was um, BSC knocking at Kelty last season. It was one of the final games before the COVID yeah, shutdown happened, um, and that was a great game. I was on all the way through to Penos in the end. So, with this time of beating Kelty in that situation, maybe no, but we're in bizarro world with this cup. So I'm, <laughs> I'm all for it. Like, um, I just hope it's a. Good I was at game. that game actually. I'm I sure I was at that game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, like, I just I, I hope it we get some silverware and our, our new guys to, to kick things off and step up, but. I don't pay so fancy their chances, I'll tell you that much. I was going to say, I think it'll be close, yeah, I think, from what you said there, Moz, about the 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 team has a big a big difference in, in the squad that, that played and um, and obviously still trying to find their feet as a squad and mm. Rom's trying to find his best 11 to go into a cup final and 
potentially win probably what is probably what the, one of the major cups now and um, and the Lowland League. We call it the Lowland, like I guess like counting the West and. Uh, it, it is a Lowland it's, Cup, isn't yeah, it? So it's, a, it's the most prestigious cup in non league thing stunt in my mind yeah. anyway. Um and we have won it before, but it'd be nice to win it with obviously the, the rebrand and the new start. Yeah, um with all due respect to um Moza, I do feel like Dunny Pace might win this. <laughs> um I, you know, they've they've actually got a really decent team, a lot of guys yeah. that used to play in the Lone League. David Grant's a goal scorer. Um, I actually think uh, they'll be up for it. I actually think they'll be up for it. I, I really hope that Broomhill win, uh, just obviously for Mozo's sake, um, winning a cup final um, would be brilliant for the for Gorms and the and the players. You know, just coming in to the squad, uh, especially for Barzo, uh, George, and, and Michael, and guys like that. Obviously, that, that you know that have been with the club, so. Not Moza. I, I just think not me. No, no. Well, I said Moza <laughs> to begin with. I started with Moza, but um, yeah, I, I honestly think Dunny Dunny Pace have a really good squad this season, uh, which I think, which kind of kind of puts me in two minds about it because uh, I think they'll be right up for it. Um, you know, coming against Burnhill as well. So definitely, I'm, I'm under no illusions about it. To be fair, they they took care of the hose in their semi a couple of weeks back, so gives you an idea how good they are. Like. They comfortably got past the horse in the end, so we'll see. We'll see what happens.